Well, like it or not, we're on a fast track into winter. Before you know it, we'll be dealing with the biting cold, the wind, the snow. You know the drill. That makes today even more special, <laughs> yeah. doesn't it? Well, hopefully not as much cold as we had to endure last year. And we all remember that. And meteorologist Steve LaPointe has some thoughts now on that, along with just how stormy it may or may not be. So he's here with his winter weather outlook. Take a look. It does look like it will be an active and interesting winter to forecast as they typically are. I wanted to find my outlook for you. It's specifically for the months of December, January, February. And this is a projection of the more likely character to the winter averaged out over those three months. It's not a forecast of individual storms or snowfall amounts. And a big player this year will be that strong El Nino that's ongoing in the equatorial Pacific. What this is is an area of above average sea surface temperatures. And this can have a profound effect on global circulation, especially across the northern hemisphere and especially uh, during the winter months and what we have seen in past El Nino's are patterns like this with a weaker polar jet which contains the cold air being lifted further north allowing for above average temperatures across the northern tier sometimes into the northeast and a very active subtropical jet with lots of moisture and lots of storminess across the south there have only been two El Nino's in our very short record it dates back to 1950 of the magnitude of the one that we're seeing this season back in 82 83 and 97 98 in both both those years, we had above average winters in terms of temperature, in fact, by 5 to 10 degrees in 97, 98. But it doesn't necessarily mean that's how it will go this year. This wild card, the warm sea surface temperatures off the West Coast, which we had last year, helped produce that warm ridge up to Alaska, but also helped lock us into that very cold pattern. This could fight the El Nino to some extent. And snow cover in Siberia, something else we look at. When it's above average in October, there is a relationship between colder than average winters across the eastern United States. And that is the case again coming up this year. So again, some signals to suggest there could be some back and forth. So I think that's how the winter could play out for us. We see periods of very cold, but quickly modulated by the jet lifting north and then warmer than average temperatures coming in. So it very well could be a case, December, January, February, where we see frequent swings from cold to mild and lower chances of patterns becoming locked like they did last winter when we got locked into the very cold conditions and with the strength of the El Nino might skew our winter a little bit above average so I'm favoring better than average chances for above normal temperatures coming up this winter but with the air masses going back and forth a lot of storminess a highly active pattern greater than average chances for perhaps a couple of really big snowstorms but at the same time greater than average chances for mixed precipitation ice and even rainstorms so a winter where we see a lot of variability there now if we look back at all the strong El Nino's on record and there have only been five four of them did feature above average snowfall for us only 97 98 was a bit below so there is at least in the record here something to suggest that maybe we'll go above average so I am going to favor above average snowfall for this upcoming winter so in summary expect an active storm pattern with varied precipitation types greater odds for above average snowfall and greater odds for warmer than average temperatures at the very least a winter warmer than it was last winter with fairly high confidence there so we'll circle back in the spring and see how this forecast and winter panned out CBS 6 News with Steve LaPointe, the weather authority. Well, in many ways, Steve, that was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> well, it shouldn't be terrifying. <laughs> well, I guess winter terrifies yeah, you I mean, it, It's pretty simplified, too, because there's a, just a huge number of factors that go into trying to put together some kind of a seasonal outlook. But again, the bottom line is it's probably going to be very, very active. I don't think it's going to be as cold as it was last it's year. Good. Not to say we won't have cold, but I think it'll last shorter lengths of time. But with air masses going back and forth, a lot of storms. So I think it's going to be a real busy season in terms of tracking weather. Snow, What's mixed, new, right? ice. Yeah. Well, you'll there's... learn your keep. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it'll be exhausting for sure. Anything but wintry today for sure. Yeah. And 